Hey guys, this is Mandeep. It is uh, Sunday, November the 7th and I'm going to do a short tutorial today and show you how to create a scan for TTM squeeze. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to uh, spend just a couple of minutes explaining how Keltner channels and Bollinger bands are related to TTM squeeze. And um, so without further ado, just uh, let's get into it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll plot the Keltner channel here. And uh, here we are with the Keltner channel. And let's just add this study. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, in a second uh, the code as well. But before that, I just want to make some minor adjustments to the colors. I just want to leave the bands to yellow on either side. So it just makes it more convenient. And uh, hit the OK button. Let's just look at the code. So basically what we have is an average, right, which is nothing but the simple 20 period moving average. And then the Keltner channels are on either side and uh, they are basically 1.5 times the average true range. So you can see the factor here is 1.5 and this is your average true range, right. Now a typical stock, uh, let's say, moves uh, five points in a day. So that's its uh, average true range. That is the difference between the high and the low. Amazon, for example, trades on an average 100 points. So that's the high of the low, high and low of the last 14 days. Um, some days it will move more and some days it will move less. Typically, it will end up moving one standard deviation. So that's your simple Kelter channel. Now in this, we're going to add uh, your Bollinger Bands as well. And uh, uh, let's add that and I'll just make some similar color adjustments to that. We'll just uh, leave the lower band, upper band to the same color and uh, hit the OK button. Let's just take a look at the code as well in this case. So it's the same thing. You have a 20 period moving average, but the bands in this case are, uh, you know, two standard deviations on each side. So it's a two standard deviation move on either side. So one standard deviation is 68 0.8 percent or close enough to that and uh, the two standard deviations are more closer to 98 percent right somewhere in that range so having said that uh, now what we'll do is we'll also uh, plot the TTM squeeze and uh, let's just add this study here hit the apply button so what do you see here? Now what you see here is that when the Bollinger Bands start to trade inside the Keltner channel the pink lines are the Bollinger Bands. When they start to trade inside of the Keltner channel, the yellow bands go into a TTM squeeze phase, as you can see here, right? And now on the last day, you had the squeeze that got fired. So when something something is in the squeeze phase, it's basically in a low volatility phase or it's in a range contraction phase and typical range contraction is followed by range expansion. Now, how far this continues or uh, whether it will continue is uh, something only time will tell. But you're much better off not taking the trade here, but better off taking the trade here because it's exploding uh, or, uh, you know, uh, in theory on one side or the other. That's really the premise of TTM squeeze. Okay. Now, let's say we wanted to find all the stocks that actually fall, fall in this criteria. Right. So what we'll do is we'll go into the scan and uh, we'll add uh, a study filter. And we'll add a couple more and explain to you in a moment what those are. So now you go into the uh, edit button here. Look for study and uh, we'll look for TTM squeeze here. Okay. Now double click on this. And there's a couple of different plots. Right? There's a histogram, there's a volume comp and squeeze alert. What we are concerned about is the squeeze alert. And we want this to be false for... Uh, the TTN uh, for it to be in the squeeze mode. Okay, so let's just save this and then uh, what we'll do is we want to find everything that's in the squeeze mode for the last six days. So if you use the square brackets and square brackets and go uh, put one, that means it is been in the squeeze mode for the last one day and we want to find there in the squeeze mode for at least you know uh, six days. So we'll do two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then we'll add one more and what we want to do is we want to adjust this these numbers now we want to go two days back that's just how simple it is three days back uh, now we want to go four days back and uh, five and lastly six days so it is in the squeeze mode for the last six days but today the current day we want this to be true 
that's, that's pretty, pretty much it, right? So that's your basic code setup. Hit the OK button. Then here we're going to look for stocks that have an average true range, ATR, of at least, let's say, 1.5, but you can choose whatever uh, range you want to pick. And finally, we'll uh, find stocks that are liquid, right? So average volume, 30 days, is greater than 600,000. Hit OK. Hit the scan button. And let's see what kind of results you come up. If you want to create this as a dynamic scan, you just sim simply hit uh, save scan query and then you're done. Since I already have something similar, I'm just going to save this as a static list. Just call it uh, TTM. Let's just save this and we'll just go back and take a look at those stocks uh, in the list now. Hit the charts. Okay, let's look at ABT. Same thing, you see, this is the phase when it went into like a little bit of a range contraction mode. And now it's green, so it has, you know, gone into an explosive mode or, you know, uh, it's not in the squeeze mode anymore. And uh, just by using this criteria, you can, you know, find all the stocks that are, are going to go into this, you know, range expansion mode and then uh, you can trade these accordingly and of course you can go back into the scan and you can instead of daily you can look for stocks that are squeezing on the, the 10, the 15, 5, whatever your appropriate time frame is and just by some, you know, some basic, uh, you know, work with drag and drop mostly you're able to create a scan for TDM squeeze. Hope this helps. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.